back with the show here and hanging out with Doyle Richmond of the Real Estate Group. Doyle, hello. Hey, you've been out and about, uh, you know, dodging <laughs> us. I, I feel like you've been sending in uh, uh, Dave for, for the past couple weeks. Yeah, that's right. Postcards. Yeah, yeah. We've been missing that. We haven't seen any of that stuff coming in. Well, yeah. Thanks a lot. Well, but. Glad yeah. to know you're thinking about us. Yeah. <laughs> we're trying to mix it. Up. That's right. I mean, between uh, some, like we were just talking about, some kids, our kids having breaks and yeah, trying to take advantage right. of the It's a good time, time of year to get out, too. And so busy in the county. If you have that opportunity and, and uh, get out and take a break, why not? Right? Yeah. But, but we're busy. Yeah, so yeah. we're, uh, you yeah. know, we're it's, a, it's a constant juggle act where you're making sure you try to take care of everyone. And right now, uh, we feel fortunate to have a a number of potential deals on the market with some of our listings nice. so we're waiting for some offers and look forward to put, hopefully putting those together <laughs> yeah I, well absolutely i think you would be <laughs> I'm looking forward to that and uh, tell me though a little bit about i mean how long you've been in the, the real estate game and and how long uh, and what is it like the the um the market in the county sure. what's, what's going on with it right now um well you know been doing been doing this for 20 years uh so been, it's been a long time since uh i started this it seems yeah. like 20 years ago right it's been a bit, been a good bit good amount of time but uh you know right now you know you feel markets going up and down and you know like okay. any other market you know we've had growth periods and we've had slowdown periods and um we're in the uh, the end, or I, I believe the tail end of a slowdown period, yep. just like the rest of the, uh, the country. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good signs down in Denver in the front range. 50% uh, of our clientele is from there. Uh, there's a lot of good signs across the country in different markets. But uh, the activity has gone up dramatically uh, last year over the year before. Sure. And uh, when you chart things out, you see activity going up and you see prices have sure. stabilized. Yep. And so, uh, you know, I think we got some great opportunities with interest rates staying where they're at for a little bit. But, you know, the, you know people always ask, what's the right time? I feel like. I feel like it's the right time now. It's been, yeah, it's been the right time for the last. Uh, yeah, you know, you know call it twelve months or so. Yeah. I mean, if you, you know, I've been telling people that over the last twelve months. Sure. When you buy now, I feel like you feel comfortable. You're holding on to it. A lot of our clients are are, are holding on to these properties for years mm -hmm. to benefit themselves, to benefit their friends, their families. Absolutely. And uh, you know, if it pulls, you know, it turns out they make some money out of it. It's a it's a plus factor. Right. And what a great place to call home, or even have a second home uh, in a place like Keystone, where you, you guys specialize in, and you find some also some just great listings, as you can see with some of these. Yeah, I mean, it's stores. nice. You guys put up a, a few pictures there and give people an, an idea of different seasons and different areas and price ranges and. Uh, I, I think people are happily surprised, you know, just like you said, to use Keystone. There you go. You know, one bedroom starting in the low 200s. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, we've had several one bedrooms just be just shy of uh, the $200,000 range. Um, and you can find prices of that range uh, in, a, in a high caliber ski resort like Keystone. Uh, and there's great prices, uh, pricing opportunities in Breck Ridge and Copper just to talk about ski areas. And then, and, you know, continuing on with Summit County, you got obviously Frisco, Silverthorne, and Dillon that we all like to call the heart of, uh, of the county and a lot of great activities beyond just skiing, you know, mm -hmm. and we start talking year-round activities. That's right. And, uh, well, and that is a great selling point, though, to consider a lot of people come up here in the wintertime and you're expecting, well, yeah, we're coming up here for the snow yeah. and the skiing and the riding, but in the summertime, there's so many other activities. And so if somebody is interested in, well, I want to be near a golf course or I want to be near some hiking trails, you can certainly share right. that knowledge on where the, the right place to look in the county. Yeah, and, you know, a lot of the country can get pretty warm during the summer months. That's right. <laughs> and, uh, you know, so we have a fair amount of clients that like to come on out for a good chunk of change. Great during, place to dodge the heat. During the summer. And uh, I think, you know, obviously the, the ski resorts were discovered because of skiing. Right. But so many people have discovered all the other aspects, you know, in the summer, mm -hmm. just to use that as another major season. You know, golfing, you know, hiking, biking, you know, just whatever Get it is, fly fishing, you know. And, and, it's just, it's and, endless yeah. activities. I mean, Absolutely. I tell people about the only thing you're missing here, you know, from someone like myself from California, is that there's not too much surf. You're not going to be surfing in Lake Dillon. Right, right. But, uh, but there's all different other things that are a little stand bit. stand up paddle boarding. Stand up paddle boarding, and that's yeah. been uh, grab and hold as yeah. a popular activity in the county. So yeah. it is kind of pretty endless, and it's just, a, again, a great place to call home or have uh, your second home. And then you also uh, share with, with clients that there are other options of getting into real estate up here. Yeah, I think what you're leading into is, uh, you know, we got the, you know full ownership, which is yep. standard. You mean, you whether you're buying a piece of land, mm -hmm. condo or, or home, that's a pretty, you know, standard type of purchase. It's not. It's still standard in the in, in the purchase aspect, but you have what's called the partial share market, right. where you can say, "Hey, I want to buy this million dollar home, 
and I'm going to buy 25% interest in it, so I'm going to roughly pay 250. I'm only going to have to pay 25% of the expenses. I'm going to have 13 weeks out of the year. It's not time share. It's a deed. Uh, instead of you, me, and two other people trying to find a property and agreeing upon it, yeah. you, you can buy into a property. You have a legal agreement that protects you. Yep. You've got a budget that spells out your expenses, and you've got a calendar that spell, spells out your time. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. And then, you know, you can trade those times with, you know, your fellow sure. owners. Yeah, well, and or if you're not going to use it, you can put it, you can rent it. So really a lot of flexibility when someone says, you know what, I'm really not going to make it out there much more than 13 weeks out of the year. And I really would like to have a higher end property. And, you know, I, I'll pay. So you don't have to make that sacrifice. Part of the cost. Just, right. Putting the money toward uh, what you, I mean, you can yeah. put the same money toward a great property. Yeah. And, and so it's, you know, it's, yeah. I always like, I mean, there's all these different stepping stones. I mean, people like to say, you know, let me get involved. I'll have a two bedroom, two bath condo. You know, and they, they, they fall in love with it in the area. And then uh, the next thing you know, five years, six years down the road, they want that three-bedroom townhome, or if they want that townhome, they want to go to house. But you know, the partial share market's another way to kind of introduce yourself to, right. the, to the area. Yeah, and then what's the best way of, as a first step for someone to uh, introduce themselves? Well, they got my number down there, and then my email, uh, my email. Uh, <laughs> well, my email is pretty yeah. easy too, but my website is just doylerichmond.com. They got a quick search there on the right, yeah. find a home. Great we try to keep there. our website very, very simple. Um, you can put whatever, property type, any type of price range, any type of you know, area, and it's going to spit out every single property in that area. Um, you got my buy, buying buddy to the left where you can actually save searches and you'll get sent emails of properties that fall into that category. And then, um, you know, not that she needs to, you know, or we need to f show it on the screen here, but there's also a whole section called feature properties, right. which are our listings. And we think we have some spectacular price listings. And as That's I said, right. I feel fortunate that uh, we got some good brokers out there working on some of our are nice listings out there. So there's there's a, uh, people like to start on the internet, but eventually they got to start talking to people by and by emails and then by phone and then eventually looking at property. That's right. And yeah, then you get educated. It all has to start somewhere. Yeah. Uh, DoyleRichmond.com is a great. Yeah. DoyleRichmond.com exactly. Right. Doyle, thanks so much for coming yeah. in. Yeah. As always, a pleasure. Yeah, Good to see you. you. And I heard you had uh, your youngest out on the snow. Yeah. How did he do? He did good. He just pointed straight. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's all right. And he didn't fall once. Didn't yeah. Fun, yeah. He did right. it. You know. So a bunch of like 30, 40 times. At that age, they have incredible balance. It's unbelievable. They're just like, let's just go. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's Maybe because they're low to the ground. Yeah, you got to stop them every once in a while. That's right. You get, but, you know, that's what you're there for. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You can stop them. All right. We're going to take another break. And don't forget, we still have another watch win to give away here. And uh, more Sun Sunrise coming at you. So don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. You're watching Sun Sunrise.